preposition is a word that shows the relation between a noun or a pronoun and the other words in a sentence. And today we will learn some more prepositions. The cattle was roaming about the field. So the preposition in this sentence is about. Let's take a look at the picture. We can see the cattle over here and they are all positioned in one place but they are in no order. So they are moving around but in no particular order. So when we use about, we mean that something is there within a place and it could be random movement but in no particular order or direction. They were discussing about the football match. So the preposition here is about. Now we can see that we are not talking about the movement. When we use about over here, it talks about another usage of it. When we use about, we mean that they are talking on the subject of. Over here, what is the subject? They are talking about the football match. The children were running about the park. So the preposition is about here. Let's take a look at the picture. We can see that this is the park and the children are moving. They are running around. So they are moving. There's a movement involved but it is in random direction. There is no particular direction that they are running. There's no order to their movement. One is running here, the other one is running there, one is moving this side, the other one is moving that side. So when we talk about about, we mean that there is no particular order. There is movement involved, but it could be in different directions. The children were running dash the park. Now we can see that this is another picture and we can see that the children are running can we say that the children are running about the park? We cannot say that because we can see that the children are running in a particular direction. They are not running anywhere and everywhere. So we cannot use about here. Which preposition are we going to use here? Let's check. So the preposition that we will use here is around. The children were running around the park. So when we use around here, we can see clearly in the picture that they are running surrounding the park in a particular direction. So they are not running any and everywhere. They are running in a particular direction. She is reading a book about the pyramid of Giza. So the preposition here is about. When we say about, what do we mean? She is reading a book which is on the subject of the Pyramid of Giza. She is traveling around the Pyramid of Giza. Here the preposition is around. And when we use around, we mean that she is traveling the area surrounding the Pyramid of Giza in and around. The family sat around the dining table. The preposition here is around. When we use around, we mean that they are seated on all sides of the dining table. So that is what it means here. The moon goes around the earth. So the preposition here is around. And when we see this picture, we can see that the moon is covering all the sides of the earth. Therefore, we have used the preposition around here. Now, we can also say it in another way. The moon goes round the earth. So, the preposition here is round. And we can see in this picture that the moon is moving in all directions on all sides. It is encircling the earth. So, when we talk about something or somebody encircling something we use the preposition round the boys ran around the pool 
the preposition is around we can see that this is the pool here so we can see over here that the boys are running around the pool we mean that they are covering all the sides of the pool so we have used the preposition around here the boys ran round the pool we can see that this pool is circular and they are moving all around the pool or they are encircling the pool so we can also use the preposition round here now let's see another picture the boys ran around the block so here is the block and we can see that the boys are running on all the sides of the block therefore we have used the preposition around here the boys ran round the block this is the block that we are talking about and the boys are moving on all sides so can we use round over here we cannot use round because they are not encircling the block it is not circular when we use round we mean that somebody or something is going round it in a circular motion so if it is not circular then we cannot use the preposition round so this is not the correct sentence we cannot use round over here so you can see that wherever we use round we can use around but it is not necessary that wherever we use around we can use round there the campers sat round the fire the preposition is round and we can see in the picture that the fire is in the middle and the campers are sitting all around it they are encircling the fire therefore we have used the preposition round now we can also say that the campers sat around the fire they are sitting on all sides of the fire which would also be a correct option here fill in the blank with the correct preposition she wears a gold cross dash her neck the options are around about and round so we can see that this is the cross that we are talking about so we can see that this cross is encircling her neck therefore the preposition that we can use here would be she wears a gold cross round her neck now we can also write around she wears a gold cross around her neck so we can use both round and around in this sentence over here the chairs are placed dash the pool the options are around and round so we can see in this picture that these are the chairs and here is the pool we can see that the chairs are on all sides of the pool so can we say that the chairs are placed round the pool we cannot say that because it is not circling the pool in any way so the preposition that we will use here would be around the chairs are placed around the pool i am thinking dash the problem the options are round and about so you are thinking of something so therefore can i say i am thinking round the problem are you encircling it in any way we are not so we cannot use this option you think about something i am thinking about the problem today we have learned some new prepositions about around and round so when we use about 
we mean that something placed or something moving in any order it would be anywhere and about also means the topic that we are talking about on the subject on the topic when we use the preposition round we mean that it is covering something circular when we use the preposition around we mean that it is covering on all sides it may or may not be circular when we are using round we can use around for it but in some cases whenever we use around it is not necessary that we will use round over there there are many other prepositions which we are going to learn soon in the meanwhile you can try using around about and round in sentences of your own and see if you understood the concept don't forget to subscribe to our channel you can register for free at deltastep.com or download the delta step app to get all learning resources as per icsc cbsc ib cambridge or any other curriculum over 5000 amazing lectures across maths science english and social science our unique interactive video technology keeps you engaged and our i dictionary feature allows you to quickly revise any concept master each topic at your own pace with our adaptive practice technology and 1 million plus questions get instant answers and detailed solutions be exam ready by taking unlimited mock tests performance analysis along with actionable feedback personal tutors to resolve your slightest of doubts that's not all you can also win amazing prizes like playstation ipad watches and many more along with certificates through our earn as you learn program so at delta step learning is not just fun and easy it's rewarding too so register for free now